Hi everyone, Merry Christmas Eve. What a great day, what a great night, what a great celebration that we're coming to give. Uh, just a couple of things that I wanted to, to kind of leave with you as, um, as I go on vacation, but also just a time to celebrate. And so we talked about the three wise men's gifts for the past couple of, of weeks. We talked about how gold is uh, the representation of Jesus's royalty, that frankincense was a representation of his deity, but also that myrrh was a representation of his humanity. And that the greatest gift that the wise men brought was of course worship. And we worship Jesus, who is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who was fully God and yet fully man. And what a perfect gift he was that that was the perfect gift that God gave, a way for what was broken to become restored once again. And so um, his life was to be given as a perfect sacrifice to pay for the sins of, of you and of me and of all mankind, um, whether we choose to live for him or not. What an incredible gift. And sometimes... Um, I can forget that. I can forget that Jesus came to save whether I would choose to believe him or not. And, and that makes that gift so much more than what it is. Um, the third thing that, uh, that I want to talk about tonight just really quickly was the gift that we bring. What is it that we bring? I, I, I started this series with the question, what do we give the birthday boy? And it's like going to a birthday party and everybody gets a present at the birthday party except the birthday person. And, and in this case, we're talking about Jesus. And what do we give? Well, I think the wise men, when they came, they did the right thing. That The very first thing they did before they even gave the gifts is they found the babe. And, and they found the mother and the babe alone. And they knelt down and they worshipped. And that is really the gift that we can give Jesus not just this season, but this year for, for life. And, and so what does that mean? That our worship um, is, is what he wants. Our love is what he wants. Our lives is what he wants. And those are gifts that we can bring. Um, Jesus' death was just as much a part of his story as his birth. And so we don't want to focus on, on that, but we want to focus on the gift that was given after, which is eternal life, the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. And how we worship and how we can do that is, is how we walk in relationship with, with God. I'm sorry, Buster's super excited and he doesn't understand what's going on. And so I just wanted to leave you with that really quick message. I wanted to say Merry Christmas to you all. I wanted to say I hope you have a very blessed and happy new year. I'll see you in the new year. And, uh, and I just pray that God would just bless you with his presence. So, Father, we just thank you for this, for this night. We thank you, God, that you are with us. We pray for blessings and, 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 and purpose and plan this year. But we also pray, oh God, that we would become a people of worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Merry Christmas, everyone.